Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Are you ready to level up your Mandarin skills? Today we're diving into two important words that every Mandarin learner needs to know, woman and zaman. So what's the difference? Let's break it down. First up, we have woman. This word translates to we or us. It's a solid choice, but here's the catch. It might not include the listener. Imagine this. You say, 我们去吃饭. This means we are going to eat. But in this case, you could be saying, I'm going with my friends, but you're not invited. Now, let's switch it up with zanmen. This word also means we or us, but it has a crucial difference. Zanmen includes both the speaker and the listener. Picture this. You say, 咱们一起去吧. This translates to let's go together. Here, you're inviting the listener to join in on the fun. So, when should you use each of these words? If you're in a formal setting or speaking to someone you don't know well, use woman. It's polite and neutral. But when you're with friends or family and want to create a warm, inviting atmosphere, go for zanmen. It's like saying, we're all in this together. Now, here's the quick recap. Woman is the neutral term that may leave the listener out of the group. Zanmen is the inclusive term that ensures the listener is part of the conversation. Now it's your turn to practice. Try using these words in your conversations and feel the difference. Thank you for joining today's lesson. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more language tips, and let us know your favorite Mandarin phrase in the comments below. See you next time. Let's keep learning together.